everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my must have autumn winter footwear. So I've put together a little collection of my favorite shoes and boots that I have been and will be wearing nonstop this autumn and winter. I have a real mix of everything here, some new pieces as well, some classics that I've brought back from last year and some really cozy shoes as well. So I am feeling very excited and I don't know, just very happy with this season. I just love autumn. I'm getting really excited for my birthday in December. I'm getting excited for Vlogmas, just lots of things. I'm feeling very happy and very positive at the moment. So I'm hoping that I can translate a little bit of that into you guys and hopefully make you feel a little bit happier whilst you're watching this because I'm in such a good mood today. Normally I'm quite, not flat, but I don't get like excited or hyper or anything like that, but I feel, I don't know, I just feel excited today. So hopefully this video puts you in a good mood, maybe gives you a little bit of inspiration, could even maybe inspire you to ask for some of these bits for Christmas maybe. So there's no real order to this. I'm just gonna pick up what's closest to me and we'll just go from there. So first pair of shoes that I have to show you guys is a very classic pair of trainers that you will have all seen before. These are my Adidas Sambas. I've worn them so much. The first pair I got was actually last February. So I've had them for quite a long time. They were a slightly different style. They had the black sole rather than this like slightly lighter gray sole. And they had a different tongue as well. I actually ended up selling them because I just preferred the shape of these ones. So I swapped these ones a few months ago now. Very similar shoe, just slightly different details. So I've still worn them in the same way. But yeah, I love these. Great, great pair of trainers. So comfortable as well. You don't need to break them in. They're comfy from the first wear, which is great. And a real versatile shoe. They go with so many things. They are my go-to trainer. Definitely. I've got another pair of Adidas trainers which I'll show you next, but I do tend to reach for these ones a little bit more. They work really, really nicely with blue denim, with black denim, with like midi slip skirts. They're just a great trainer. Very on trend. I know most people have them now. They are kind of one of those items that just is transcended through every girl my age pretty much. Doesn't make me love them any less. I still love them, they're a great trainer and I still wear mine so much. There are lots of different colorways of these now. I did have my eye on the black ones, but as I have the specials, which I'm gonna show you in a second, I just thought I don't need another pair that similar. I've obviously just got these classics and they do me just fine. They are always in and out of stock. So definitely worth checking the normal places like Office Shoe, the Adidas website. I have them linked on my like to know it. So hopefully if they do come back in stock and you are after getting a pair, you'll be able to. So as I said, I have another pair of Adidas trainers. Some shoes here are in the box, some shoes aren't. These ones I've kept in the box because I don't put them in my wardrobe. And these are the Adidas specials. And as you can see, slightly similar in shape to the Sambas. These are more like a beige than a white in colour and they are suede. They obviously have the black three stripes, black at the back here, and they have this like cork coloured rubber sole, which I think is a really nice detail. I'll pop them side by side actually, so you can see the difference. They are similar shoes actually when you look at them like that, aren't they? Very similar. But I've worn them in different ways, styled them differently. I haven't reached for these ones as much, like I said. I did when I first bought them. I preferred these to my Sambas and I wore these non-stop. Now, as time's gone on, I've, I've reached for these a little bit more. Again, I think perhaps this is just the novelty of these being new, but I still love them. They're a great pair of trainers. Again, they do these in lots of other different colorways as well. If you wanted something perhaps a bit darker for the autumn, these trainers are great for all year round. I wore them both throughout kind of the end of summer as well. Really nice classic shoes, love them. Next up, I have a pair of shoes that I do actually have a box for, but I took them out of the box. These are my Prada ballet flats. They are black, black leather with a painted toe cap. And then they just say Prada in gold. I put them up that way. You'll be able to see the detail a bit better. I got these from Bista Village. They were exactly half price, I think. I think they retailed for 640 and I paid 320 for them, which I thought was a reasonable price. I hadn't really worn ballet flats that much before I purchased these. I had a cheap pair that I bought from Primark, which I still have and still wear. They were like a beige colored with a black toe. And then I had an all black pair, which I bought from H&M again, really affordable and cheap. I wasn't looking to splurge on an item like this because I just didn't wear them enough. I went back to Bista Village about three or four times in the space of a few months. Each time went back to these. There was just something about them. I'm not sure what it was. Then the last time I went there and I tried them on and 
I don't know whether it was like the way they went with my outfit. I think I was probably just in the mood to buy something as well because I hadn't bought anything at Bista Village for such a long time. And the fact that I kept going back to these, I knew it was going to be a good purchase. I was a tiny bit worried that I wouldn't wear them that much just because like I said, I hadn't worn the other ballet flats that I had a whole lot but the fact that I've got these makes me reach for them so much more I found myself trying to think of outfits to wear these with just so I could wear them I think that shows how much I love them and they go with so much I didn't realize how much they go with they look really good with jeans with trousers skirts everything they're just a classic shoe and I absolutely love them. So let's move on to a couple of pairs of boots now. These ones I have, I don't know why I'm showing them to you, like you can see them, they're still in the dust bag, Amy. These ones are from a brand called Bobbies. I have a couple of pairs of boots to show you actually from Bobbies. And I recently got these. They are a black leather knee high pair. Really nice round toe, nice heel height. It's kind of a block at the back as well, so really comfortable and then they're nice fitting up the leg. I already have a pair of black knee-high boots, but they are from Zara, and they're about three or four years old, so I thought that I would include like the newer pair that I have in my wardrobe, so that if you guys want to purchase, that you can. I got these in my normal size, but I probably would say, if you are unsure, you are in between sizes, then size up. That's what I did in another pair of Bobby's boots that I have, and I just think they fit slightly better, especially around like the calf area. These are just a tiny bit tight. They look a lot better with tights, I think, than they do bare legs. I feel like if I wear them with bare legs, I look like Nessa from Gavin and Stacey because they just accentuate my calf, let's say. So with tights, they look much better, much more flattering on me. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful boot. Amazing quality these are. The leather is gorgeous, really nice and soft. And this style is so classic. I still have my Zara ones that I gravitate to as well, but it can't ha to have two pairs of black knee-high boots because like I said, they're such a classic piece to have in your autumn winter wardrobe. Like amazing with slightly longer skirts as well, like midi length slip skirts, really nice picking out of them, but also obviously the knee-high boot and mini skirt combination is a fantastic one. So whilst we're here, let's go for the second pair of boots that I have from Bobby's. I actually got these last year, very kindly gifted to me and I wore them for my birthday last year and I just love them. They are a beautiful pair of beige suede block heel, again, knee high boots. And these ones I sized up in and they just have a little bit more give around the calf area. So I do feel like they fit me just that bit better, but I love the color of these. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, really classic. They look almost designer inspired. Beautiful quality block heel is super comfortable and yeah i just love them really nice alternative to the black knee high boot as well if you want to wear like a slightly warmer outfit these are perfect for that i wore them last year on my birthday like i said with a cream mini skirt and cream like boucle jacket and th these just worked so much nicer with them if i'd have worn black boots it would have been i think quite a harsh contrast so to have like a nice light pair like this in my wardrobe was the perfect match. And finally for the knee-high boots, these are the newest addition in my wardrobe and I love them. So these are from Massimo Duty and they are a flat black knee-high boot. I saw these on Kate Hutchins and I just knew I had to have them. I do have a black flat pair of knee-high boots from Zara that I got in the spring last year. Um, this year, sorry, in the spring this year. And I really like them, but they're quite chunky. Not massively chunky, but chunkier than these. And they are quite gaping around my calf area. These ones fit a little bit tighter and I think just give a more classic look. The shape of them, especially at the front, nice and thin, almost pointy. They do look very equestrian, especially with the elastic up both sides. Then they have a really nice gold detail at the back here. I haven't worn them yet. As you can see, the tag is still on, but I have tried them on and I absolutely love them. I'm planning on wearing them tomorrow, actually, for my trip into London with sheer tights, black mini skirt, and my mango fur coat. I think that's gonna be a really nice outfit. I'm excited to wear these in lots of different ways. I think they'll look really nice with oversized knitwear and a pair of leggings as well as a slightly different look. These were expensive. These were not a cheap purchase that I made, but they were very considered and I feel like the shape is such a classic shape. I always feel when I'm buying classic pieces and not trend pieces, the higher price tag is more justified because I know 
how much wear I'm going to get out of these. I know it's not like a fad trend that I'll be over by next year. I feel like these are something that I could wear for like five, 10 years to come. So they were £199, so essentially £200, which is a lot of money for boots, but the quality does look amazing and I love Massimo duty pieces, so they've never let me down before. And of course, you can't do autumn winter without a classic pair of black ankle boots. These, again, is something that I've had in my wardrobe for a few years now. These are from Bash and they're just a very classic Chelsea boot, again with the elastic up the side, a really nice tracked sole, beautiful good quality leather. These are chunky, got a slight chunky sole but not too chunky. They're still nice and tight kind of around the ankle, really flattering on, really easy to wear. They look great with jeans, they also look great with tights as well and skirts. Really just a classic pair of Chelsea boots, again an essential and they go with so much. And finally, it's not autumn winter without a few pairs of Uggs. So these are my two, two favourite pairs of Uggs that I have to show you guys. First pair is the pair that I got last year. And these are the Ugg Tasmans in chestnut. Now these are the slipper ones. I don't know if they're all called slipper ones or if it's just these ones, but these have the slightly lower sole. There are a couple of pairs that are more platformed and have like the red stitching around the top here. Obviously this is like a brown stitching, which personally for me, I prefer. I prefer something that's a little bit more subtle. So that is why I went for these. I think the platform ones are gorgeous on lots of people, but a bit too trendy for me. And I don't know, just a bit too out there. I thought these were really cute. You can wear these as slippers if you want, but I've worn them out many a time and they're just so comfortable and I love them. Bit different to the Ultra Mini Uggs as well, which I have a pair to show you next. I do have the Ultra Minis in this chestnut colour as well, but these are just a different style and yeah, really love them. They, every time I see them now, they just remind me of Will, Farmer Will from Love Island. If any of you watch that, I just remember him being, wherever it was, South Africa or Mallorca, wearing Uggs. Again, love these, so comfy and very cosy. And the last pair, of cozy Uggs. These are my absolute favourites. The Ultra Minis in Antelope. I purchased these back in July because that's when they came in stock. I'm really hoping they'll come in stock for you guys again. They don't seem to very often. I tried so hard to get my hands on them last winter and I couldn't. So when they came back in stock in July, I just went for it. I thought I don't care that it's July. I've got to have these Ugg boots. And I've finally been able to start wearing them recently, which is lovely, but there is nothing better than a brand new pair of Ugg when all of this fur on the inside is still like soft to touch because obviously it flattens down the more that you wear them. But wearing these at the moment is just so nice and cozy and I just love the color. It goes with so much in my wardrobe. Like I said, I already have the chestnut ones. They're a couple of years old though, so they're looking a little bit tatty, but obviously these are brand new. So very excited to continue to style them this season. So those are some of my favorite autumn winter shoes. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And if you think I'm missing a pair, let me know because I'm have to buy them. I do feel like I covered most bases there though. If you guys did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like and if you're new to my channel I would absolutely love it if you hit the subscribe button and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!